almost hits a fourth. That puts Plague on the back foot after a fantastic start. So, Keef has done well, but he's missing a rocket launcher. That's why he's heading over here. And look at the trap set by Plague, but it's not enough to get the kill. Wow, nice idea. I think really it was nice the right idea. Choice, though. What a, well, what a shame though that Keef Chief had a shotgun. <laughs> Died, tied up though. Nice work. Yeah, Keef is going to be able to get this red armor. If he moves quicker, okay, maybe not. Oh, maybe so. Nice rail there. And a follow-up rail. Keep Chief starting strong with that very weapon. Railgun is his savior. That yeah, and, and this is why I'm so interested to see this map. Because they're both really strong, strong through. I think they're probably, maybe even, I would say, equally strong with the rails. Keep Chief definitely winning in that exchange. Uh, Plague down to a mere uh, 12 health. And picks up, oh, wow, so dangerous to even go anywhere near Mega as it spawns. Uh, he does get a nice little uh, shot in the ass, though, against Keef Chief running away after the Mega pickup. But basically, you know, that, that shows you the Plague again. A little bit sloppy on the timing, and I wonder if that's going to bite him in the ass. Oops, Keef missing, uh, missing a shot. That's kind of a weird angle to shoot. It's kind of a hard one. I would Again, say, uh, it seems to me that Keef Chief is have, has the, uh, the the superior aim to uh, quite a large extent, um, but Plague has caught Keef Chief with his pants down many, many times in the last two maps, and has done it already uh, at least once or twice in this two, in the two minutes of ZTN so far. Um, you, you know, uh, in, in the last matchup, uh, there were numerous times where you got Keef Chief uh, facing nice the complete shot. opposite direction. And wow, uh, I, I believe that was quite the flick shot from Keef Chief to uh, maintain a heavy stack advantage in the ZTN matchup. Oh, oh right. and as, oh, I, as oh, I'm I don't talking know why about Plague catching oh. Keef with his pants down, Keef does just that to Plague. Okay, there he could have pressed in. Okay, he had about four seconds to Mega. Had he gone through the teleporter and just basically uh, pushed Plague to um, likely. Uh, back towards the plasma gun, then he could have went and gone mega, but he could have went and gotten mega. Um, had Plague tried to go for mega himself, Keef Chief could have gone lightning gun and gotten the kill before Plague could get to mega health. So, uh, eh, it could have been three to one, I think. Again, it feels like a one-sided match, but the score is just two to one. And Plague is still definitely in it, regardless of Keith Chief's amazing rail ability. Yeah, 58 percent. 58 percent for that rail, and which is a pretty uh, significant, a pretty significant advantage over his opponent who has a 40 percent rail. And 20 percent difference is is quite crazy when it comes to rails now. But the one thing, though, again, is that despite all those rails, it, it's keeping Plague on the back foot. But ZTN being what it is, you can oh wow, yeah, again getting the drop. On Keef Chief, and look at the rocket jump in order to secure red. This might be Plague's in, but he can't get the shot for the rail. He had the idea for it, and Mega Health will keep Keef Chief alive and running. And, uh, you know, wow, again, both these players just not committing to the fights. It's like they'll, they'll have these little skirmishes, but no one's going in for the jugular. Railgun switch? No, no switch. And so that's going to be Plague's undoing. Oof. Not nice a move good Keef. little sequence there for Plague. Uh, Keith, just before that matchup, was able to pick up yellow armor on top of uh, on top of the mega. So, yeah, huge stack advantage for Keith. And once again, Plague is on the back foot. Uh, three frags separate these two players. Um, Plague <laughs> eating yet another rail. He's gonna have to spend the next couple of minutes picking up armor and once again going for those cheeky shots to uh, try to even up the stack <laughs> stacks right here. But no dice for Keef or uh, excuse me, Plague. Yeah, Keef just did that totally undetected by Plague. That that final frag where uh, <laughs> Plague was still expecting him to come around the left side of the pillar, Keef Chief went right and just blindsided him with a shotgun. Good night, five to one, and, uh, and that's a nice rocket to the face. Again, Plague, you could see how he delayed his rocket shot, which was a fantastic idea. Uh, Keef would have died there had it not been for Mega. He gets away with um, about 80 health, down to 40, then down to 12. 
Uh, he did a pair of rocket jumps, but he aimed down too much, so he did a lot more damage against himself than really needed to happen. He's gonna come back well, into this room. This is opportunity. Yeah, this is Plague's opportunity, but what, what resources are up for him, though? I mean, that's the thing. I mean, basically, yeah, exactly. Oh. Beautiful play by Keith to come in and get a nice little uh, cheap shot against Plague, and now Keith can show up for red. And so, if I were Plague and I had that advantage, Okay, was, hey, that's a nice rail, and that'll get him in. Tasty. But if, if I were, if, if I had that advantage, I would have just held center map and gotten red. Red has been up forever, and uh, it's only been by chance that these guys are hitting some amazing rails and picking each other off as they pick up uh, the armor. But um, you know, a more solid position on center could have held it down a bit more, I think. Got some great rails from both these players. Really, the railgun has been the definitive weapon in in this uh, particular match. <laughs> I'm loving it. One second till Mega Keith Cheap is gonna widen the margin to six frags. And woof! If I were, <laughs> I could, my heart kind of skipped a beat uh, looking at Keith Cheap come up <laughs> up to that platform from uh, Plague's point of view. I can only imagine what it was like for Plague. Keith Cheap had his number on that rocket jump. So we do have a little bit of a pause. Plague wants just a second here. It's now 9 to 2. And Keef Chief is three and a half minutes away from moving on to the winner's bracket finals. And he will be facing off Prepare against Swoop. Otherwise known as Pyro. One, so here we go. We're going to resume. And uh, Plague is back at the keyboard. So it's all good. Uh, Keef is about to find him. If he chases towards red. Uh, nope. He, uh, Plague's already gone. Oh, there it is. Keith running in, and uh, let's see if Plague needs to hit at least two rails here to force Keith out of red. And he does do so. Fantastic work there. Oh, okay, that was a little so bit of nade damage. A <laughs> little bit of nade damage. Such a silly little thing. All right. So Keith Chief, I, I think, is going to have this thing, but I don't know. It's possible to come back. If you're Plague right now, seven frags separate these two players. W what do you want to do? What do you have to do to make sure you get this, uh, get the next couple of frags? He has the stack. Um, well, the hardest part, honestly, is going to be finding his opponent where he can't run away. Uh, a nice rocket yeah. to the face, that's a good start. And but Keefe is able to answer with a rail. And you can see how careful Keefe was about that. He took the rocket to the face. But immediately after it, he's like, okay, I've got, you know, the reload time of this weapon in order to fire off a rail. If I miss the rail, I'm dead. If I hit the rail, I force him away from me. And he hit the rail, and now he's, you know, he basically lives to fight another day. And now he's picked up those uh, pair of um, 25s. He's actually in pretty good shape as soon as he gets the plasma yellow coming up in three seconds. So, again, play can have all the stack that he wants. But if Keefe is able to play defensively and never let him get a position... Oh, here he's the frag. Unlike oh, that, great if, if Keefe plays nice defensively... And a continuation. Yeah, if Keefe plays... Def I mean, rather... Yeah, if Keefe plays def defensively and keeps uh, Plague from doing exactly what he just did, then he's got it. But again, a minute and a half. I think Keefe is safe no matter what. Again, they're defensive. Yeah, and, you know, ZTN, notorious for the defensive play. Um... I think this was uh, well, I think this was exemplified in the uh, in the uh, Silent Gamers Cup last time. I think we saw yeah, Jang play hang. extremely extremely defensively on ZTN, and it kind of opened my eyes to what defensive play can really do for you when you're up a few frag. Yeah, so, yeah Dehang uh, pretty much no ran. Chance. There's no way. Dehang had like a one frag lead and ran for like three minutes. <laughs> it was pretty awesome. Yeah, if you use your ears, use the teleporters, uh, use your brain, there's a lot you can do when you're on the back foot on this uh, map of ZTN, Blood Run. Uh, Keith, nice aggressive move by, by Keith. Air. I like that. And that, yeah, that was an interesting choice because a lot of players, you know, they would have just started dodging um, and, and their opponents would have had the... Um, height advantage. Keith basically said, okay, I'm going to lose a bit of my stack, but what I'm going to do is, um, you know, rocket jump aggressively into you, 
and like he essentially scared Plague off of the ledge, and now he had the 